It's touted as the coolest boat in the world, and I would have to agree. If Batman had a boat, it would look like this. The Earthrace is a futuristic, wave-piercing trimaran vessel that runs exclusively on renewable biodiesel fuel. It's designed to go through, actually under, a big wave. Instead of going over waves like most boats, you see the hull is deep. This high-tech naval engineering and craftsmanship blend the latest in human seafaring speed technology with revolutionary trends in renewables. Amazingly, this ultra-modern boat has a net-zero carbon footprint, but that doesn't mean it's not fast. If you look over here, you'll see what they're trying to avoid. As it arrives in Panama, the Earth race is on pace to set the new world record for circumnavigating the globe. The current record is 74 days, 53 hours, and 26 minutes, and we have to use Suez Canal, Panama Canal. We're not allowed refuel at sea. Um, you're allowed, once, once you start, the clock ticks until you come back to the exact point um, where you took off. So any breakdowns, anything like that, you're allowed to fix, um, but the clock rolls all the time. On paper, we could, we could theoretically do it in 46 days, which is um, 12 stops of four hours. Um, one little issue that may pop up, who knows, is that one of our turbos is starting to smoke. Uh, Tino's on it, and Tino reckons uh, he might change the turbo tonight before they, uh, they head off. Sounds easy, he says an hour and a half, who knows. We have pretty much everything on board to rebuild an entire engine. Just grab the, uh, the end of the mop. Grab the end of the mop. The worst injury on the boat was actually me in a storm. I came out of one of the bunk beds in a wave. And as I came out, the boat dropped off a 15-foot wave and I hit the floor. And just as I was hitting the floor, it came back up on the, uh, on the wave again. So I had a double whammy. I broke four ribs, I had a collapsed lung, uh, cracked shoulder blade. Uh, but Mark, um, when he arrived, we bolted down some special stainless steel plates to hold extra fuel on the back, the uh, IBCs. And he just slipped off it and ripped a four-inch gash in his heel. And he's one of the best nav navigators we have and a nighttime driver. He likes nighttime driving with the radar. So we're a man injured, but I'm floating crew just in case, and so is Tino. Um, the rules stipulate that the navigator, which is the guy from Sweden, has to stay on all the way through, as does the captain. So hopefully they don't get injured or anything. Gain every day. We hope to gain about 400 nautical miles. And. Um, Push on through. The Earth Race is a testament to the future of green alternatives. This 78 foot vessel can carry 3,000 gallons of fuel and weighs in a staggering 23 tons when fully loaded. And what's really incredible, all of this mass is powered by 100% biodiesel, derived from biosources like soybeans and animal fat. Ambling along at six knots, she could get halfway around the world on one tank of biofuel. But while trying to smash the world record, the Earth race averages about 25 knots, which still turns in an impressive 3,700 kilometers per tank. The Panama Canal plays a vital role in this historic event as the Earth race makes the transition from the Atlantic Ocean over to the Pacific. It's going, it's going quite. It's some of it's going extremely well, and some of it's not going so well. I mean, we we get delays and stops, but the the boat itself is fast and the boat is efficient, we got good speed, we got the most speed we ever had and a real low fuel burn as well. So we're kind of really, really hyped for the record, but it's crucial that the stops run smooth. Okay, Roger, um, he needs to just stay away from the locks because the uh, agent's freaking out. He's one potential wrench in the mix. There was already a massive backlog of ships set to transit the canal before Earth Race arrived. We're at the third lock. What lock are we at? Yeah, we're on the top lock. One sec. The south end of the lock here. This is called Gatun Landing. We're we're at Gatun Landing, so he needs to walk up to Gatun Landing, which is after the third lock. And there's a small jetty. And there's a small jetty there. We'll pick him up there. Idly waiting in that long line of vessels could cause a disastrous delay for Earth Race. Let me tell him where But fortunately, the Panama Canal Authority really came through, ensuring a swift and safe passage for the power boat, which completed its transit through the canal in just 12 hours. Uh, launch facility on the east 
East Bank. Hi, the um, east, good southeast and on the side of the locks. Um, and um, you'll see a tugboat there. It'll be a small, um, small pier. We'll I don't know. I don't know what that yeah. is. Since the taping of this program, the Earth Race successfully completed its journey through the historic Panama Canal and went on to complete the 24,000 kilometer journey in just 60 days, 23 hours, and 49 minutes, smashing the previous world record by an incredible two weeks. You know, we're not tree huggers, we're not any, you know, we're just kind of promote, you know, the, as Pete says, to quote Pete, people can leave amazing lives. I'm sick of hearing it, but this way he says that people can leave amazing lives and we just want people to think a little bit more about, um, you know, their environment and how they do stuff, you know, turning off lights, trying to save the planet. So we're here trying to save the world.